the principal of the St. Anna's Boys School says the negative image once associated with that school has changed. In fact, Joseph King says the turnaround has been so dramatic that the school is now considered a first option for some parents and the students sitting 11 plus exams. If you look at the intake mark, our top mark in English was 86 and our bottom mark in English was 28. Top mark in maths was 79, they bought him 21. And students, are, parents are now choosing St. Leonard's Boys School, which means that I anticipate, as I've told my staff when I first came to the school, when our top mark was in the region of 45, that, you know, don't let's think about what we are getting. Let's convince the public of what we are going to give them. At least one furniture and appliance store says it has seen a slight increase in defaults on payment from its customers. Trisha Tanis, Managing Director of Unicomer Barbados Limited, trading as Courts, was speaking to CBC News at the launch of the new Ashley line of furniture at the Courts Superstore in Bridgetown when she made those comments. She says the store continues to offer flexibility in credit packages. Those persons who can't afford it or, or credit and financing packages have actually gone in very, very popular. But secondly, for those persons, as you rightly identified, who may have negotiated before and have found themselves in some economic difficulty, particularly those persons who are still employed but are employed for shorter hours, those are the persons that we're seeing more often. And we try to, uh, yes, refinance and offer you know, longer terms or more affordable, affordable payment payments that they, can um, that they can actually adjust into their pocket. So yes, we're seeing a slight increase in terms of, of default rates, but nothing that we really can't work with the consumer to, to try to mitigate. Ms. Tannis says Courts remains conscious of the impact of the economic crisis and sees repossession of property as a last resort. We deliberately try not to get to that stage. So certainly our repossessions have been at an all-time low. We really try to, you know, do what we can. That's an absolute worst case, so it's very rare, to be honest. Very rare. Yeah. Only in very extreme circumstances do we do that. Fire officers must be seen as heroes because of their selfless service to others. This view from Attorney General and Minister of Home Affairs, Adria Brathwaite, during the church service at St. Andrew's Parish Church in commemoration of Fire Service Week. Mr. Brathwaite says firemen must be commended as they face several challenges in an effort to save lives. He added, however, that their service often goes unrecognized. I am, however, assured, and in fact, I can change, change I am to say we in the ministry are assured by your commitment and dedication to serve and that you will continue to be proactive in your efforts in providing fire prevention, fire protection and emergency services in order to meet the, the many and very needs of our, of our community. The government will continue within its financial resources um, to, to assist you in terms of your human um, development re requirements um, we will continue to assist you in, in terms of your physical in environment. Officiating Minister, the Reverend Alan Jones, says any service unto God is commendable. Can we as Christians offer bad service? Can we treat our brothers and sisters as if they do not share in the love of God? I think not. If you want excellent service, look to Jesus. See it in the name of Jesus. My family in Christ, we must strive to offer ourselves. We must strive to treat others lovingly. Several members of the Broom family came together at Durham's Drive in St. Lucie today for a special celebration. It was to mark the 100th birthday of the family's matriarch, Ethelyn Broom. Ethelyn's six children, seven grandchildren, her six great-grands and one great-great-grand were joined by Governor General Sir Clifford Husbands and Member of Parliament Dennis Kelman for the festivities. Not a woman of many words, Ethelyn, with a smile, said she was feeling a certain way about reaching the milestone. One of her daughters told CBC News she was thankful for all that her mother has done and described her as the best a person could have. A loving mother, a caring mother, and a giving mother, a prayerful mother. 
to all the days that we come along. She was very, 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 very nice and caring and praying for us. She worked hard. Many days, many mornings early, before she go to work, you will hear my mom in the bedroom. When you peep, she was on her knees, praying for each and every one of us. A hard worker, a caring and loving mother, and a people's person. Those were just some of the words that described late CBC canteen operator Bernadine Spooner, who was buried today after a service at the Jerusalem Apostolic Spiritual Baptist Church. Michelle Arthur has more. We often hear about a service of thanksgiving for the life of a loved one. This outpouring of love was evident as members of the Apostolic Church gave a vibrant and warm send-off to their church member Bernadine Spooner this evening. The mood was in stark contrast to the grief of friends and family members on September 15th when the 40-year-old woman was brutally slain outside her home by an unknown assailant. Today, her church colleagues remembered her as a hard worker. Working in Cuckoo Village was her favorite pastime. From one morning to the next, she working. See most of us tired, but burns still picking up garbage and serving everyone with a smile. Teacher Sanjean also spoke of Bernadine's devotion to the people at CBC who she served. At CBC, I watch her still working. She know all of them by name, no joking. See her going up and down, spinning round and round, with a smile on her face, not even a frown. We know the whole world is full of its trouble. We make choices sometimes to make us wobble. But Bones hold up her head, made her turn around instead, and decided to turn around to her first love and humble. This was echoed by her daughter Kellyanne, who spoke of her mother's love for her job and her children. At the canteen, my mom loved the staff there. She was like, she would come home and say, I gotta write out a menu, so go and feed my people at CBC. My mom would also make sure that her children were right, and she was known for giving her last. We weren't perfect children, so of course, mommy sure licks. When I say licks, I mean real licks. Bernadine leaves to born four children, including a one-year-old daughter, and her family here at the CBC. Michelle Arthur, CBC News.